The effort to get voters signed up for the recall effort against Diane Douglas is continuing. That says the superintendent of public instruction faces a possible lawsuit. Cronkite News education reporter Angie Schuster joins us with an update. Last week when I spoke to Superintendent of Public Instruction Diane Douglas, she was hopeful and excited to reveal her education plan next Thursday. But in spite of the effort she said she is making a better Arizona education system, her opposition isn't slowing down their campaign to recall her. The Coalition to Recall Diane Douglas released a statement today questioning whether or not she actually has a plan and accusing her of scrambling to put one together. Recall volunteers have countless petition signing events set up through the end of November, desperately trying to get enough signatures. Diane Gordon, a retired teacher from the Peoria School D District, has been volunteering three days a week four to, for four to six hours each day collecting signatures since the petition recall started. She got 60 signatures in just two hours when we saw her earlier this morning and is upset about the bad name that she feels Douglas gives Arizona's education system. I know how hard teachers work every single day and it disturbs me to see that um, so much of what is publicized about education often comes back on the teachers when the reality is that there are other issues like legislation and funding that affect that so deeply. I spoke with the chairman of the Coalition to Recall Diane Douglas earlier this morning. He's asking volunteers to start mailing in notarized petitions starting November 30th. I also spoke with Douglas's Deputy Public Information Officer, Charles Dack. He invites anyone who believes that Douglas does not have a plan to attend her press conference on October 1st and see for themselves. Angie Schuster, Cronkite News.